This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, this is a Jet JS 300 Strat copy that I bought last year and it still is last year as I'm filming this um, middle of November basically um, so I, I do these videos quite a while in advance as you can probably tell uh, but um, when I bought this guitar it was um, it was like you know will this be the guitar that will get me back into strats essentially and I've reached a decision and I'm going to tell you about it today and um, yeah, you see, one thing which is often said about this style of guitar, an S-type, you know, the, the you know the recipe, you know, 25 and a half inch scale length, bolt on neck, three single coil pickups, <coughs> five way switch, and the rest of it. One thing that is often said about guitars of this particular breed is that they are blank canvases, and they allow the personality of the player to shine through. Uh, more so than other styles of instrument, uh, other styles of electric guitar. And I bought into that for many, many a year, many a decade, in fact. But now, do you know what? I'm not entirely sure. And I think this gets to the nub of why I'm not really into these uh, th this particular style of guitar anymore. Um, to illustrate this, um, there's a solo coming up later where I use four different guitars. And I've clipped it into some little snippets here, and um, just so you cannot tell what guitar I'm playing at any given moment, uh, I've put some footage of Dougal having a good time uh, over the top of um, each per uh, particular performance. So uh, here's the first one. Can you guess what uh, type of guitar I'm playing in this one? Any ideas? It's not immediately obvious, is it? Um, how about this one? Once again, it could be, you know, it could be a telly, could be a Les Paul, could be, you know, many different styles of guitar. Um, could even be a Strat, you know, uh, who knows. Um, how about this one, though? Again, you know, there are a few candidates that hanging on the wall behind me and uh, in the rack over there that you can, that's off camera that you uh, that you could think, well, yeah, it could be it could be that one. But I bet it will take absolutely no guesswork at all to figure out uh, which style of guitar is being played in this little clip. It's obvious, isn't it? That was the one where I was playing this guitar. And that for me is is kind of the issue I've got with Strat. It's, you know, you hear the fact that it's a Strat first and foremost. That just kind of comes across as being the obvious quality that you're hearing. And then you hear the individual player. The, yes, there are exceptions to this rule. Um, you know, I guess Mark Knopfler in as in early in the days of early Dire Straits pretty much made that particular uh, bridge and middle, or was it neck and middle pickup? That sort of uh, quacky strat sound, that position two, position four sound. He kind of made it his own. Um, you know, and um, you know Jeff Beck springs to mind as well. I mean, you know, the thing is Jeff Beck though he could pick up any guitar and immediately sound like Jeff Beck. Same with Knopfler. You can tell it's Knopfler when he's playing a Les Paul or, or whatever. Um, 
back in about 1989, um, there hadn't been a Dire Straits record out for some years, and I heard this, uh, what sounded like a, a, a new Dire Straits song, uh, the intro kind of coming on the radio, I thought, oh, is there a new Dire Straits record? It wasn't, it was Road to Hell by Chris Rea. Um, you know, uh, but because it had that kind of nofflery sound, you heard the the, uh, the 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 fact that it was a Strat rather than hearing the fact that it was Chris Rea. You know, it it didn't kind of live up to that um, thing of oh, you can definitely tell who it is immediately when they're playing a Strat because I immediately thought it was Mark Knopfler uh, playing on that at the time. So that kind of is my problem with the Strat. I don't feel I sound like me on a Strat. If you like Strat style guitars and you feel like that it makes you sound like you, then, you know, vive la difference, as they say. Um, you know, oh, is, is that French? I'm not sure. But, you know, just it, whatever floats your boat is what I'm saying. But, you know, Strats for me just don't. And um, that is why this guitar, um, I, I unboxed it on a Friday live stream. And, um, you know, by the time it got to uh, the Sunday, one of my students um, actually said, uh, you know, oh, that's nice. I said, do you want to buy it? <laughs> and uh, that was it gone. So he's picking it up in a few days time uh, when he's popping around with the money. And uh, this is gone. I'm just not into strats anymore. What can I tell you? This is a fantastic example of the breed, the Jet GS300. If you like strats and you're on a budget, then, you know, this one is an you know, exceptionally good value. And uh, it does everything you want from this kind of guitar. It's just that this kind of guitar doesn't do what I want. Anyway, that's the video for today, folks. Um, I promised you the full solo earlier, so I'll uh, I'll play out with that. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it? Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole business of does a strat immediately sound like a strat rather than the person playing it. Uh, leave those comments down below. Uh, the solo that's coming up, by the way, there's a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats along with a clip of me playing it and uh, a jam track for you to play along with for yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. $3 a month for all of these additional resources that go along with these YouTube videos. And a massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are linked down below in the description. But that is it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now mm -hmm.